going? Uh, if you're new here, I'm Tori, and this up here is Miss Nancy. We have not been having the best day. Uh, we haven't been having the best week, actually. It's been pretty stressful. Uh, maybe I will bore you with some details about that later if you're interested. But we've ended up somewhere we didn't intend to be. We're going to chill out in the van and do a bit of work later, but Miss Nancy, as you can see, is pretty keen to get out and explore. So I've got some tea, I've got a sandwich, and if you want to come with us, we're going to show you another little part of beautiful Cornwall. Start the day as we need to go on. Key number one, good girl. National Trust places are kind of like the outdoor Marks and Spencers to me. Like when I go there, I just start feeling really relaxed, which is exactly, ooh, which is exactly what I needed today because we really didn't get off to a very good start. And uh, yeah, starting to feel better already. Thank you, National Trust. If you think that's weird, it's because my parents used to drag us to Marks and Spencer's a lot as children and National Trust places so now I'm an adult there's just something kind of relaxing about it. The best bit, the car park as always. My first stop also the toilet. Hello oh, Piggy. Oh look you can fit in this one. Perfect. Come on in you come. Good girl. So cute. It smells so amazing in here. So much oxygen and freshness. I don't know what I did right to score Nancy Drew because she is the best dog ever. Such a nice house. Um, people live in it, so you can't actually go in there. But and just look, they get to look down their lawn out to sea. How wonderful! Oh, piggy. So it turned out that the first bed that I made for Miss Nancy was too hot for her to sit in the sun. So I made her new one in the shade and then she decided she didn't really want to sit down. She does like to toy with me quite a lot when I try to make her comfy while we're out. I'm forever trying to pour her water which she doesn't want to drink either. However, the lure of lunch is generally enough to get her to come over. And of course I'm forced to share my sandwich with her because, well, just look at this face. How could you say no? My van failed its MOT and it had to go to the garage and have a lot of expensive work done and I just got it back and we set off for the day this morning and it's making a strange banging noise every time 
we go over any kind of pothole in the road which means I'm gonna to have to take it back to the garage and get them to have a look at it and see wasn't a great start to the day everywhere we tried to park was full we were just driving around the van was banging I wasn't really sure whether we should just completely stop driving until I could take it back to the garage anyhow yeah we randomly ended up here at Trang Wainton this National Trust place I'm really glad we did because we're so chilled out here and we're feeling a lot better these aren't insurmountable problems all gonna be fine it is what it is so yeah here we are Nancy Drew was being incredibly well behaved as usual today, really making her mother proud. She got barked at by a couple of other dogs and she just turns her head the other way and pretends they're not there. She really is such a peach to take out. Um, it's really lovely to have a dog that really doesn't bark at other dogs. I did have her on the lead around the gardens, which is what you're supposed to do, but it made it a little bit easier to film uh, if I just tucked her lead up and she doesn't run off, so that really wasn't a problem either. Having Miss Nancy is just the best. Even though she makes me worry more than I would have done if I didn't have her, because I worry about how she is and how what I'm doing affects her. You know, just having her there with me just makes it so much better when anything shit and stressful is happening, because she's just there. She's just there, she's such a great comfort. And yeah, I just love her so much. There's lots of beehives. I've just noticed there's swarms and swarms of bees coming out there as well, not just on that tree. Oh, you're not allowed in there, Miss Nancy, look. <laughs> look. There you go, little tree. Good girl. Nancy found a nice watering hole. Why don't you like the water I pour you, huh? Look at these beautiful pumpkins. Everyone's running like they stole a dream Images of magazines Take your chance while you're still young Glory flickers like a candle in the desert sun Time on an overpass. Watching. Poor Miss Nancy hurt her leg the other day. She's got this little plaster on. It looks so cute. She's all right. I'm just going to wait for it to fall off um, by itself because she was licking the scab off it and it was pouring blood. But she's okay. She's very chill. She's tired out. So, uh, yeah, I need to sort a few things out. I phoned the garage earlier, so I had to take the van in again tomorrow. So. 
we're pretty much just gonna drive back to where we're gonna sleep tonight and just stay there until tomorrow because I don't want to drive around too much until we find out if there's someone on the van. The rest of the day's gonna be pretty chilled out, do some work, eat dinner, go to bed. We've had a great time, thank you for joining us. We hope we're gonna see you again. Oh, uh, and Miss Nancy would like it if you like the video and subscribe, please. Thank you. Bye. Someone is such a sleep. Bye.